The next movement is a variation on the closing action of lazy eights. In lazy eights, you finish with both hips lifted and lower one hip at a time in stages. In this exercise, both hips are down, but the movements of the legs are the same. So that one foot presses down and the other foot lifts. You do this movement in what I call sets of three, which is like this. Left foot, right foot, left foot, pause and feel. Right foot, left foot, right foot, pause and feel. So when you press the right foot, you lift half the weight off of the left foot. And when you lift the left foot, you lift half the weight off the right foot. You start with the legs centered upright for a few alternations, pressing down the lifting foot, shoulder, elbow, and forearm, and alternating arm actions as you alternate feet. You then lean the legs progressively to one side, continuing to alternate foot pressure with your legs close together. And then switch direction to lean toward the other side with the feet alternating pressure. Finishing at center. Notice that your shoulders are assisting in stabilizing you as you lean your legs to one side or the other. Make that deliberate. As you press down with one elbow and forearm, you lift with just the same amount of effort with the other elbow and forearm. You'll feel the forces meet in the center of your chest and transmit to your pelvis and legs. Adjust the strength, direction, and timing of your arm actions for stability.